We are Betrayal From Within. I'm Johnny Martyr. I play uh, lead and rhythm guitars. First album I as of uh, February and uh, he's pretty much got the same influence as everybody else. He meshes real good with everybody. Metal. And uh, so we don't mess shit up tonight. Me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, you. Hey Matt, yes. why don't you go ahead and tell them how uh, it came about. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you were invited to the party. <laughs> But we formed about uh, two years ago, a little over two years ago. Uh, me and Johnny met at a party and noticed he played guitar. Asked him if he was currently doing anything. And then about a month after that, we were talking and playing around a little bit. We found Chris on band mix. As Johnny just said, he just came around this February, filling in some holes that we had coming from last year, some lineup changes. Rocking that shit. Yes. Dork, you know? I know. <laughs> I do good at pure unadulterated metal. Yes. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pull my rings out, dude. Shit, yeah. Uh, why don't you guys uh, let's uh, spread our influences around here? Matt, you're uh, uh my primary vocal influences are wide and varied, everything from blood vein to even. Some of the more mainstream hard rock food fighters, whatnot, to uh, Lamb of God, White Chapel, pretty much anything that gets me moving, gets me going. I usually find it coming out through my music. Open this motherfucker up, I swear to God. <laughs> I am a huge Slayer fan, that's my main influence, um, but I do listen to a lot of Lamb of God, um, like White Chapel, um, anything metal, hard metal, just heavy, I listen to it. There are uh, four main drummers that uh, have really influenced my style and I look up to them because I can't ever play what they do, but I certainly want to be able to eventually. Uh, Danny Carey of Tool. Dave Lombardo of Slayer, uh, Mike Portnoy of Dream Theater slash Adrenaline Mob slash everything else that he does. Slash five other bands. I was going to say, yeah, he does a million different things. And then, of course, Chris Adler of Lamb of God. Mainly my influences, uh, 
Kirk Hammett's one of them. I actually own a Kirk Hammett signature guitar that I put Terry King pickup signature pickups into it. And uh, I mean Slayer, Metallica, Warbringer, um, old school Pantera, of course. Uh, oh, you gotta have Pantera. Oh yeah. yeah. And then. Uh, of course, a lot of the stuff you guys play right there on the X, you know, I mean, that's all I've had growing up is the radio. You know, now we got Pandora and stuff like that. I'm getting into newer bands that are influencing me also, like, uh, you know, Lamb of God and, uh, I don't know, there's just so many of them out there I listen to. It's just, it's insane. It's just, it's really meshing good with my uh, writing style right now. So, big old shout out and thanks to Pandora. 1057 the X right there. Right, speaking of Speaking of 105.7, you know, we really appreciate what they do for the local music scene. Everything from the uh, local music showcase at the Heart of Illinois Fair to uh, coming out here and supporting us for Kitty. Uh, it's, a, it's a real big thing. I mean, uh, local bands don't survive without the support of everybody above them. Uh, so it's really good to see the, the local radio station pay attention and really uh, get out there and support the scene. So we definitely appreciate it. Uh, we appreciate all the fans uh, that have supported us and come to our shows for the last couple of years. Yeah, because without them, a show like this, of this magnitude for us, I mean, this is probably the biggest show that we've played up to date. This, this would not be possible without fan support showing that we're capable of going out there and rocking the house and showing everybody what we're capable of. Basically, spreading our influence as far down as with the motor, I think somewhere down by Indiana towards Danville. I mean, that's, that's a pretty good stretch for a little band that originally yeah, came out of Canton and then moved over this way. With uh, Jake Surd of uh, K Rock out there in Danville, he uh, actually, you know, did a whole interview type, read our bio, played our songs, and everything like that. So I mean, you know, I mean, couldn't ask for more. You know, we've gotten pretty lucky. I mean, we're a band on a budget. Our fans have supported us so Every much that we now have T-shirts and stickers and you know stuff to give them back. You know, so. Feels good. Yeah, without local support, this would not be happening. So support your local metal. Keep going. Keep going to shows. Don't uh, don't stop. Because you stop going to shows. The venue starts to close up. So keep going. Especially with the possibility of the Madison Theater resurrecting. Well, if it doesn't ha nice. if it doesn't happen, you better get your ass to this place right here because they always have bands here. They're always supporting shows, support the venues. That's the main thing. Let's get out there. Pay the cover charge. Everybody. Complaints about the cover charge. Get in there, pay that, go see some good stuff. Oh, no shows. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you won't be disappointed. Session impacts everybody. It kills a lot of people driving 45 miles in three vehicles with a bunch of equipment. Pile everyone in your car, make a kitchen.